Tonight, time and time again, New York ranks as the worst city for road rage. Perhaps it's all the congestion, maybe it's the construction, but whatever the reason, road rage needs to be dealt with. And now, there is an app for that. There's been pushing, help, shoving, grabbing, honking, and well, hugging of sorts. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Road rage has been known to get the better of many a driver. Go! Go! You know what? You flash it for a reason. I'm gonna beat your Road rage is not about just the road. It's about what's going on in our lives. Clinical psychologist Dr. Fred Munch says rarely do people get angry while walking on the street. But there's something about being in a car. We tend to depersonalize our fellow drivers. They become our enemies. But now several apps claim they can help irate drivers calm down. Anytime there's a problem, leave it to technology to find a way to try to solve it. Blow Up Traffic, for example, is a voice-activated app that detects the level of your voice. If you yell, the app uses animation to blow up the traffic on the road in front of you. Fire! Affirmative. Other apps go even further by letting you report your fellow driver's bad behavior. Drive Me Crazy and Fail Driver collect and catalog road rage complaints, which they say can be accessed by law enforcement, the DMV, even insurance companies. Bus, what are you doing? Car manufacturers are also hoping to curb regrettable road rage with the use of facial recognition technology. You saw that was my parking spot? Sensors will read and influence drivers emotions. If anger is detected, for example, the car will automatically play a favorite soothing song. Unfortunately, I think what it's focusing on, these types of apps, justice, we want this person to be punished. But experts say drivers would be better served getting at the root cause of their anger. In spite of all the electronic measures that might be out there, the best thing that we can do is really sort of internal management. In other words, experts say learn to control yourself. They also suggest having something to look forward to when you get in the car, like an audiobook.